Detroit awakened. What up, though? I believe in God. So, when you talk to people in regards to spirituality, or if they believe in a higher power, they'll say, I believe in God. And that's one section of people because there's a whole nother or other group of people who don't believe in a higher power. So I fall into the first group. I believe in God. So a supreme being and a supreme power. Got it in clear. Now, not that, not if there is a supreme being, but the supreme being, if there could be a name to the supreme being, I assume he would have, or this power would have a name, or it could just be called the supreme power, and we just say God. So, not sure of the name of this supreme power. So we'll just say God. Now, me personally, uh, here in my city of Detroit, I believe in God and I grew up with a background of Southern Baptist religion. So my religion growing up was Southern Baptist and I believe in God. So in the Southern Baptist religion, we study from the Bible. That is one of the denominations under Christianity. So I believe in God under a denomination of Christianity. So now <clears throat> returning back to I believe in God, if I was to go and have a conversation with somebody from a different country or something and ask them, do you believe in God? They will fall into, yes, I believe in God, or no, I don't. So then if they are people who believe in God, then you will say, well, what is your God's name? And they may tell you the name of a God. And then you would say, well, in your culture or country, do you have one God or do you have many gods? And depending on that answer, you can say, if you have more than one God, then is there a supreme God? And then what's that supreme God's name and is your God the God of everybody on the planet or is this your God that's specific to your culture and ethnic background so under religion I guess the assumption would be everybody could be a part of a religious religion based on what's available in their country or area of the world so in regards to religion, I guess the question is, is there just one God or are there many gods? So now me, I'm like, OK, I believe in the one God, but that's the God under the Christian religion, which is the God that is spoken of in the Bible. But if you speak to someone in Buddhism or in any Hindu or Eastern uh, Asian religion or you could have a Roman religion or an African nation's religion, then do all of these different religions or different groups and cultures of people have the same God or do they have different gods? So now back to myself, in the Southern Baptist, Baptist Christian religion, and I'm a black, well, I'm an African American. And for sake of time, I'll say nigga without offense, but it'll offend some people. So nigga, Negro, whatever the different um, labels they give to brown people in America that are descendants of slaves or whatever, uh, whatever, confusion. So now when you read the Bible of the Christian religion, if you are a person who reads, you'll determine it's a historical book and it's speaking about the, uh, the God in the Bible and it's other gods in there, but 
it says about the God in the Bible, but that God in the Bible is in a covenant with the people in the Bible, which are called Israelites. And then Jesus is the main character of not character. Jesus is the main thing in Christianity. And so in Christianity, Jesus loves everybody and everybody can be around and with Jesus. And uh, there is no color or distinction. He's the Jesus for everybody in the world if they want to be with Jesus. So now that's Christianity and the Bible. But then Jesus was an Israelite. And when you read specific words and things of what Jesus said in regards to his people and the Israelites, if you read it, then you as a person who reads, but not is a religious person or in Christianity, you'll see that it seems like Jesus came to assure his people and do something specific for them as it pertains to the covenant. And then they say Jesus is God, but then Jesus say he prayed to God. And then you say, well, did God come to earth? And then you're like, well, how can the supreme being of everything come to earth? But then God can do any and everything. But then Jesus is, uh, they say the word of God. So now is it God that's on the earth or is it the word of God? That's name is Jesus. And so I, in the Christian religion, dealing with the Bible, it's a lot of confusion because you got Christianity, but then you got the Israelites and then you got Jesus. And he says this set of stuff, but then Christianity says Jesus says that. And then Christianity says Jesus looks like a white person, but then the Bible gives a description of Jesus, which is not a white person, but then the people in charge of the religions of Christianity are mainly white people. And I'm not a white person, but then um, I'm like a college grad, which is not like really saying much, but I like to read. And one of the things is history. And so I'm reading in the Bible, which is a religious. No, I'm sorry. I'm reading in the Bible, which is a history book. So I'm thinking I'm reading in a history mind frame. And then in that his, history book is outlining the adventures of the Israelite people. And then I guess they call it the Old and New Testament, but it's a lot of different books that were taken out. So when you go to the New Testament, it's like a whole different time frame. But when you read the Old Testament, it was a time frame. So you have a time frame here. Then you move to the next part of the book, which is another time frame. But actually in history, you know that it was a whole nother piece of time frame that's that happened in history. But in the Bible, it's not there. And so there's a whole big piece missing. But then when you get to the new part, Christianity say it's one thing, but then when you read as a historical document about the Israelites, you saying that they're saying something different, but okay. And then in history, you know, that as a Negro or African American, some of your people were brought here on in slavery. And then you had Christianity religion forced upon you. So now you're like, okay, I'm believing this religion and, but I'm studying history. And then I'm like, okay, this religion was forced on our people, but then this religion is supposed to be about God. But then the people that forced this religion on us and we were in slavery to them, they say that everybody is equal in the religion but then if you look up Southern Baptist or Methodist or any of the religions in Christianity, they don't like black people. I mean, African-Americans, but we only became African-Americans here like in 1980s. And I was born before the 80s. So I don't know if I'm an African-American. Well, I'm an African-American today. They call me black, but um, my skin is brown. Um, 
my birth certificate say something I don't remember but then they call us Negroes which is just Spanish for black and then nigger but then you know that's just the corruption of the word Niger which means black but then we brown so I'm just in the religion of Christianity which is controlled by white people who bought us here as slaves and I believe in God but then where we came from wherever we was brought from what was our name over there and then what was the you know, what was the religion we was practicing over there and is it the same God as in the Bible with about the Israelites or is it um, with Jesus the, the white guy that's not in the Bible and then um, did the where we came from was it more than one God or was we wrong about if it was more than one God but then is it just one God so I'm black I mean um, I'm brown and I'm an African American and so we came here from the continent of Africa as slaves which means the Africans over there so the people that got here so did did they sell us because there was a different religion over there or um and then um if it's a guy and he loved everybody why did the africans why did he let some africans sell s s some other africans and then they came over here and then the people that gave them a religion that most of us is still in uh, they they changed our names and 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 said we couldn't practice what we was practicing over there, but we don't know what if we was practicing over there caused us to get sold over here and then people was over there they they brown too, but they know where they come from the ones that's still there but then now we over here and they call us black, which is Negro and Spanish and Niger and Latin and nigger in southern English and everywhere in the world there's a word for nigger and everywhere in the world there's a word for black but our skin is brown but then in America brown people speak are like the Spanish so are we not black and but we really brown but in society we not brown they call us black but then if you ask a black person I mean, a brown person, what color they are, they'll say black. But then if you ask them to look at themselves, they'll say brown. And then when they say they brown, then you ask them, well, damn, what, is, what color are the, 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 the South Americans or the Latino people? And they'll say brown. And then, but are we the same as them brown people? And they not as brown as we, man. So I believe in God, but it's, is it many guys or is it one God? Um is uh okay so and then the africans they say we egyptians but then the whole continent of africa is more than a whole bunch of other people than egyptians and then the egyptians had a whole bunch of gods and so did the egyptians sell some different africans over to us i'm, I'm did the egyptians or did okay egyptians got many gods and they africans and then Africans sold Africans, which was us. And then we came over to America with the white folks who control Christianity and Jesus, who they say is white, but the Bible say is not white. And then we lost our name and we couldn't practice the old African stuff. But then, okay, so I don't know about, okay. So we couldn't practice the old African stuff. Well, now we believe in Jesus but is it the white Jesus that look like the people that put us in slavery or is it the Jesus that's in the Bible that's about the Israelites and and then um, most of the religions that we in they hate brown people that's us but then if you say brown people then it's the Latinos so I, okay so the religions don't like the people that was brought here in slavery and they gave us this religion that we practicing now and it's one God but the pictures look white 
but they say he for everybody. But we got sold from where we were if we wasn't practicing what well, they say is over there it might have been paganism, but then it could have been a different name for the one God that's in Christianity. But then why would them brown people be worshiping the God of the Israelites who is brown or not white? And then we here in America worship you know religions and there's so many of them and we in all of them and so I believe in God but which God how many gods uh, which book do you go to find out about a God or the gods and why would God allow us to get sold into slavery and then now we have another God that don't look like us but is like the people that put us in slavery and they beat us and killed us and did some horrible things but then we supposed to worship that God because that's the God for everybody but it's a whole bunch of other gods and them other people didn't go into slavery and they not brown and they not niggas and they got their own country so this is the confusion of believing in God but then you can't be an atheist if it is a God, but then you can't say if it is a God, if you believe in God, but then you got to make sure it's the right God. And then you want to know what his name is, but we speak a different language than what we used to speak. But then that language could be a language of people that don't believe in God, believe in more than one God, don't believe in the God of the Bible is not white. So. This is the first episode of I Believe in God and I'm Just Confused. Detroit Awakened. What up, though?